Hey, what is going on, people? It's your boy Sketch, aka the artist, coming to you live and in living color, talking to you guys about today about an awesome series. This is a video on Eternal Ninjas, and we're gonna dive into what this story arc and the inspirations of where it came from. Uh, Eternal Ninjas was actually created in 1995 by one of my close personal friends. We collaborated on it, Amos Presley. We created this of. Uh, this comic book series at the height of superhero teams. When we were coming up, we had Power Rangers, Big Bad Beetle Boys, Ninja Turtles, and it seems like that everybody was trying to capitalize on the team group scenario. Fast forward about a good 15 and 20 years, and in 2010, that was the first issue of the revamped Eternal Ninja Saga that I had created. It was something that was totally phenomenal and actually creative. One of the things that I wanted to do was to veer away from the traditional ninja look. The inspiration of this style actually came from uh, influences from video games and movies, but I have to say the most influential uh, and perfect on this had to be a comic book story called Stormwatch, a comic book series that I used to read in the 90s. As you can see, as time progressed on, you know what I'm saying, the storylines begins to plot and everything begins to grow in in its own self. So I really did have fun talking to you guys about something that I actually created. I've actually created over decades ago when I was in school, so I'm kind of a little older, you know, Brother Man 37, but I was glad to be able to actually share to you this guys how much Eternal Ninjas meant to me and how much I'm going to push this in the Fabulate Effect Galaxy Universe. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Check out the links below. Like, subscribe to the Fabulate page. And that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for tuning in. It's your boy Sketch the Artist saying back on the grind y'all. Be blessed. Doses.